Tomo News presents Cosplay. Sword wielding Joker gets nabbed by cops. Winchester, Virginia police officers had an exciting Friday last week when they got word of an overly enthusiastic Joker cosplayer wielding a sword and hauling it about in public. Said Joker cosplayer is one Jeremy Putnam. Age 31, this guy seriously, seriously likes the clown prince of crime. And while this is a very accurate Joker makeup job, Virginia ain't Gotham, yo. Old Dominion law stipulates it's a felony for an adult to wear a mask in public. A class six felony that carries a maximum of five years in prison, no less. So it was his deaf makeup face job that got him charged, and not the fact that he was allegedly hauling a sword around in public. His buddies tell a different story. In a change.org petition to get Putnam free, they claim he was carrying a cane and not a sword. Putnam's currently being held in an adult detention center on a $2,000 bond. Either way, let's hope the cops don't roll up on a comic book convention anytime soon. <laughs> Can you imagine what the cells would look like? People are dressing up to see it. It is in a theater near you, literally. We can officially put a monetary value on the public's collective fear and fascination with terrifying clowns, with IT smashing box office records to become the third biggest movie opening of the year, after Disney's Beauty and the Beast and Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. The most recent movie adaptation of Stephen King's horror novel raked in over 117 million US dollars during its opening weekend in North America. Many fans of the remake classic decided to show their appreciation by not only purchasing a movie ticket to see it, but also by showing up at the theater dressed as the film's titular character, Red Balloon and all, to terrify fellow moviegoers. Many patrons took to Twitter to express their shock and delight at seeing the murderous clown in real life, <laughs> in the seat right next to them, and meandering around the theater in the dark. So at the risk of running into a real life creepy clown, are you still going to see it? Male to female cross dressing catches on in Japan. Male to female cross dressing has caught on in Asia. Some male Japanese idols are also dressing like women to bring out their feminine side. Now Japan has selected its best male to female cross dressers. Third place goes to Masaki Okada. Japanese find Okada's appearance fragile yet sophisticated and his smile quite sweet, which makes him a lovely lady after cross-dressing. The second runner-up is Takeru Sado. Though he's got quite a masculine look, he used to dress as a lolita, a popular Japanese street fashion style and subculture that makes wares look like dolls. Here the number one, Tape Koike. That's him in the face wash commercial. And him as a girl. Hard to tell he's actually a man, eh? The business of being Yaya Han, cosplay superstar. Hi, I'm Yaya Han. Yaya Han is a world renowned costume designer and cosplayer. Han is one of the few people who've been able to make a business out of the hobby of cosplay. Lesson 1. When there's no path to follow, blaze one yourself. When Yaya started out in 1999, costumes were a hobby, paid convention appearances were unheard of, and social media would take another 10 years to develop. In the meantime, Yaya and many others endured a lot of trial and error as they turned a passion into a profession. But it's not like I went to school for business, so everything I've done is very, like, I hope this works, and, you know, it's like sort of letting your instinct guide you. Lesson 2. Provide something valuable. For Yaya, her passion was the love of the costumes the characters, and the craftsmanship. She started sewing at age 16 and has made more than 300 costumes over her career. Be 
being able to make cosplay into a potential business is really about you um, doing it for yourself, doing it for your own personal reasons, and um, really offering a product, offering either service or product or something that people want. Lesson three, be patient. Author Malcolm Gladwell said you need 10,000 hours to develop expertise. Yaya had 10 years of honing her craft before turning pro. Uh, you can't just expect people to give you money because you're pretty. For me, it took 10 years before I was able to make this into a living. Besides getting paid for appearances and speaking engagements, Yaya also sells costume accessories on her online store. These days, she no longer designs costumes for the general public. Instead, she focuses her efforts on personal costumes and major products, including TV, film, and event promotion. It really is a, it's a unique merge of fan expression and creativity. That's what cosplay is to me. So. For Tomo News in Los Angeles, I'm Sasha Horn. Taiwanese McDonald's staff to cosplay as flight attendants. The Maid Cafe phenomenon has hit McDonald's in Taiwan. The staff will dress up as flight attendants to serve fast food over Christmas and New Year's Eve. The cosplay party will take place tonight and on New Year's Eve, where all staff serving at McDonald's restaurants in Taiwan will dress up to celebrate the holiday season with customers. Several employees at the Taipei Arena Chan ran a rehearsal yesterday. Customers were surprised to see the staff dressed up in flight attendant uniforms, pulling carry-on luggage to the counter and taking orders. One of the young employees, Zhang Susan, has been dubbed the flower of McDonald's. Pictures of Susan cosplayed in pink made outfits in McDonald's Guangchen store on Christmas Eve have been circulated on the internet. Fans of all things otaku have descended on Los Angeles for the annual Anime Expo. While fans line up for panels and merchandise for their favorite anime and manga, that's uh, cartoons and comics for you uncultured swine, the centerpiece of the event is always the hordes of cosplayers who dress up as their favorite characters. There are an estimated 20,000 cosplayers each day of the four-day convention, including probably the world's sexiest cosplayer, Playboy Bunny Hollywolf. Group costumes of cartoon, comic, and video game characters are always popular. And while some cosplayers pour their heart, soul, time, and money into their costumes, others, uh, a little less so. Taiwan's BlitzCon votes for most popular cosplay winner. Taiwan's BlitzCon team has been decided after the Taiwan Championship Tournament, where four teams competed to qualify for the Heroes of the Storm World Championship at BlitzCon 2015. But before all that started, there was a cosplay competition. Fans were allowed to vote for their favorite cosplayer. Song Mulzen, dressed as Kerrigan, the Queen of Blades, won after the gathered audience cast their votes. Song explained she and two friends had worked on the costume for over three weeks, and she was thankful to all the support from her friends and family, and she was especially teary by the time she thanked her cat. The winning team from Taiwan will go on to compete with seven other teams for the World Championship. Batman moves from Gotham City to the Tokyo suburbs. I'm Batman. This guy needs no introduction. You know all about the Dark Knight, the Cape Crusader, right? Batman usually protects Gotham City, but it seems our hero has moved to Japan, specifically the Tokyo suburbs. Don't believe me? It's okay if you don't, but I know I'm not alone. 
Check out this video of the winged Avenger. Someone caught on the expressway in Chiba, Japan. Okay, so it really isn't Bruce Wayne, but just some middle-aged Japanese dude from Chiba Prefecture in Japan, which is how he became named Chi Batman. By the way, this could only happen in Japan. Only there will his cape not get caught in his motorcycle's tire and not cause any wrecks as rubberneckers gawk and snap pictures. Even still, we're not really sure what the official police stance on this would be. Oh, and in case you're wondering, these guys are actually the ones who protect Tokyo proper, just across the bay. We're waiting for the inevitable crossover video to drop. Cosplaying is a job? 22-year-old Taiwanese girl earns 70,000 new Taiwan dollars a month. Hello, 大家好,我是小佑。我玩cosplay已经有六年的时间了。希望大家会喜欢我的作品,谢谢。Cosplaying as the vocaloid Hatsune Miku. 22-year-old little weasel shares her experience with everyone that cosplay can be seen as a career too. When she was 17, she participated in her first cosplay event and completely fell in love with cosplaying. She then spent her savings to buy her first costume and then came up with the idea to sew a costume by herself afterwards. Eventually, her interest became her career. She started to sell her handmade costumes online and sold more than 300 costumes in four years. Her highest record was selling 22 costumes in one month, earning more than 70,000 new Taiwan dollars. <laughs> 